everyone, I'm here today with some audiobook tips for you. Now, as you may have noticed if you watch a lot of my wrap-ups, I listen to a lot of audiobooks, but this hasn't always been the case. I actually only started listening to audiobooks last year, and my reading life has definitely changed for it. And I know a lot of people struggle to get into audiobooks, they think they're not for them, and so I thought I would give you some tips if you want to try to get into audiobooks, because it will help you get through a lot more books a year, let me tell you that. So tip number one is to sort of start off quite casually. You don't need to just run into the longest audiobook fantasy, heavy, dense book you can find. Just start off really light with maybe like a reread of a book that you're familiar with. A lot of people do Harry Potter. That is an excellent choice. I personally went down a slightly different route. I listened to autobiographies and memoirs for the first few books that I picked up and I tried to pick people that had actually narrated their own audiobook just because it gives that extra something and especially if you like that person's voice or you're already familiar with the celebrity it really sort of just helps keep you involved, it helps keep you listening and so I would really recommend doing one of those two, whichever one suits you best I really do not recommend, as I said, jumping into something that you are not already familiar with because you are probably going to struggle. Tip number two is to not start off trying to listen too quickly. Now, as you train your ears, you can pick up your speed, but early on you really want to be listening pretty slowly. I think I started off listening to everything on... I use Audible and I was listening to everything on just like one and over time I built that up to 1.25 and now I listen to anywhere between 1.5 and 2 depending upon the actual narrator because some people read a lot quicker than others anyway some people you will sat, sit there and you will think at 1.5 you'll be like oh god can you talk quicker please and so you you speed it up but this is something that comes gradually. Over time you just find yourself slowly developing the skills to be able to actually increase that speed. So don't rush yourself early on to be increasing that speed, just take it steady, train your ears because learning to listen to a book is very much a training your ears experience. You need to learn to take it in that way because so many of us are so used to just sitting and reading a book and seeing the words it can be quite difficult to focus on just listening. Another way you can pick up your speed as well is if you actually read along while listening, just while you're getting used to picking the speed up and taking the words in. I've never tried that, but I'm sure it works for many people. Tip number three is to try to not do too much at once. So many people brag about how listening to audiobooks helps them, they can do it while doing the ironing, while driving, while cleaning, while a whole length of different things. And that is true, you can do these things, but it's something that takes time. You need to slowly develop that skill. So as I said, your first book or two, you might want to just read the story along while you're listening, or just sit and listen, don't necessarily focus on doing anything. Then as you get used to the listening experience and your ears are starting to train, you can then start doing other things. So maybe start off with things that require no thought at all, such as walking down the street. I listened to many audiobooks just walking to and from work and that was really what started getting me to do other things while listening. Before that I'd just sit and stare into space. <laughs> Another thing that again doesn't require too much thought is maybe adult colouring books while you're listening. And as you're doing that, you will just learn to just focus on the colouring while also taking the words in it. And from there you can build it up. You can start driving while you're listening. You can cook, clean, do whatever you want. But it's a gradual thing. Don't expect to be able to do all of that at once. Tip number four, once you've started developing the skill of actually listening to audiobooks, you need to start paying attention to what you do and don't like in an audiobook. So it might be that you can't stand certain types of voices. It might be that you can't listen to certain genres of books. You need to work out what works for you and what doesn't so that you can either work on work on developing your skills in the area that you're not so comfortable in or perhaps you could otherwise just learn to avoid those types of books. I have found personally that I can listen to almost any genre although when I'm listening to something really dense I have to take it a lot slower 
and I don't always enjoy it so maybe I should just stop trying I'm not sure but another thing as well is that the voice is really important for me I need to click with the voice I can't be sat there hating the voice the entire time so most times before I get an audiobook I do check it out just just check out a sample to make sure that the voice doesn't annoy me and then once you develop a sort of taste for certain narrators you can even stop looking for books that you might be aware of that you've been wanting to read or that people have recommended you and actually just start looking for your favourite narrators and discover new books that way which is a fantastic way to discover new books. Tip number five is quite a simple one really it's just to not put any pressure on yourself. If you find that despite following these tips, audiobooks aren't for you, then that's fine. Learn to accept that. Audiobooks are not going to be for everyone, but I feel like a lot more people can get into them than what they realise, and people just need to go about it the right way rather than being all like, oh, everyone listens to this audiobook, and everyone listens to it at this speed, and I'm just going to listen to it, and then they hate it, because the experience doesn't work for them because they haven't trained their ears, it's not the right book for them, etc, etc, etc. So don't put any pressure on yourself. If it's not for you, it's not for you. But I highly advise you give it a go. As I said, I only started listening to audiobooks last year and since then my reading per year has just increased so much. I've really found that some books suit audio narration so much better than actually reading off the page as well. Like, It just really brings some books to life, especially when you find a fantastic narrator. Now I'm sure there are more tips than what I have mentioned and so if you have got any tips you want to share with anyone down below then please feel free, I would love to see what ideas you've got for helping people get into audiobooks. Thank you so much for watching, if you like this video please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you want to see more book reviews and other bookish content from me and I will see you tomorrow. Bye bye!